my thoughts for today. The very idea of punishing heresy, those who don't believe the right things, used to remind people of the Dark Ages, with the Inquisition torturing and burning heretics and blasphemers, and Russian Tsars would burn alive whole communities of ultra-traditionalists. Nowadays, it stinks of the repression and oppression of totalitarian regimes where you can be imprisoned for questioning the party. People may disagree about religion in the West, but rarely does it result in violence, murder or imprisonment. This is because in the West, thought crime does not exist. It was abolished when we realized that our beliefs are coincidental, it is not our own fault what evidence we see in our lives, nor is it really our choice as to which arguments sway us and therefore which religion we pick is mostly down to chance. In order to overcome sectarianism, social conflict, segregation and tribal violence, in the West, we have accepted freedom of belief as a basic human right that you cannot deprive someone of. Because religious beliefs are important, it simply cannot be right to deprive someone of the right to choose which religion to declare as their own. To deprive people of this right is the most horrendous type of immoral oppression. The United Nations Commission on Human Rights considers the recanting of a person's religion a human right legally protected by the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. The committee observes that the freedom to have or to adopt a religion or belief necessarily entails the freedom to choose a religion or belief, including the right to replace one's current religion or belief with another or to adopt atheistic views, Article 18.2. Bars coercion that would impair the right to have or adopt a religion or belief, including the use of threat of physical force or penal sanctions to compel believers or non-believers to adhere to their religious beliefs and congregations to recant their religion or belief or to convert. In the West, it is generally taken for granted that people have a perfect, indeed sacred, right to follow their own religious path, and indeed to invite, though never demand other people to join them. The liberal understanding of religion lays a great emphasis on the right to change belief. So my thought of the day is to watch out for those who would through the threat of physical force or penal sanctions to compel believers or non-believers to adhere to their religious beliefs and congregations, to recant their religion or belief or to convert. Our parents fought in many great wars for us to have the rights we have today. Let's not let anyone anywhere take that right away from us and our children. It has almost happened in the past, and if we are not virulent, it can happen today or in the future. So, stand up for what is factual and freedom and rights for all. Just think today, in the year 2017, you can still be put to death for leaving your religion. What a messed up thing. Any group that demands that people have to follow a certain doctrine or belief system is the cause of all strife on this earth and should not be tolerated. We should always work together for freedom and the greater good of us all.